Okay. <laughs> Fly want to interrupt me. God. <laughs> so anyway, the mother said Rosita, the character Rosita, told her kids no. The mother stated this disgusting person blatantly told our kids no then proceed to hug the little white girl next to us she continued so i had to change locations because um i like oh, i had to change locations because i like quiet and i don't want everybody in my i don't want everybody knowing in my video you know i want to do be me like I want to want quiet I don't want everybody in my business but anyway so we all heard about this controversy about um, the Rosita character on Sesame Street right um, and how everybody want her dismissed and banned and whatnot um, because of what happened um, at Sesame Place in Philadelphia um, so So the mother has stated that she took her, like she took her daughters to Sesame Place, you know, to the amusement park, you know, as we all did, you know, as parents, you know, it's the summer, um, we want to get the house, you want to take the kids out, you know, so it was a normal day, and you know how Sesame Place have parades and whatnot. Um, her kids were standing um, and waiting for the characters to come down, to come down, um, make their rounds, come down, um, down the parade. Um, and as her kids were reaching out to Rosita, you know, for a high five, um, she said the character ignored her. Um, the mother said, then when I went to complain about it, um, they were looking at me like I'm crazy. I asked the lady, who was the character? And who was the character? Who the character was? And I wanted to see a supervisor. And she told me she didn't know. Um, a, lot of so, a lot of people on social media, on their social media platforms, they were outraged and accused of Rosita character for being racist and even brought up the suggestion of canceling the character. Um, you know, as I continue reading New York Times, um, the New York Post article, um, the mother said that Rosita was reaching out to the white kids and when the Rosita character gradually walked down towards her black daughters, um, she didn't get the same, well, they didn't get the same response. Um, like the white, the white kids did. Instead, they got a no, 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 like a shoe, like shoe away. You know what I'm talking about? So that wasn't fair. And I'll be upset too if that happened to my kid. Like, but also I think like you know it's a time frame that the parades have to go on. It's a time frame of 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 how long the characters have to like walk down the runway, as I would say. So that's just me making assumptions, but that's you know. I feel like Sesame Place, Sesame Street, should they like, even though they did make an initial statement, um, I feel like they should have like Sesame, Ses Sesame Street should have made an initial statement to the family and to everyone of color and to everyone like an inclusive in an, an inclusive statement so everybody could understand. But the mother, her name's Jody. She said that um, she didn't get any statement or any sorries or any apologies from 
the Sesame Street Corporation, as I should say. See, when this all went down, um, I, you know, I was just like, let me, let me play devil's advocate now. If you know of somebody, or if you were somebody that worked as a mascot, um, or work, you know, were mascot, were a mascot. Um, you know that it's uncomfortable under them suits. Through a tiny bit of hole, and it's quite dangerous for us to see through that hole, as it's quite blur. People tend to think that uh, we can see them, but actually we can't. I perspire a lot because of the heat. Sometimes I might feel a bit giddy when we are doing mascot in open area, when the sun is shining on us. There's one guy who's actually quite fat, then he do mascot every day, he starts to slim down. So in a way, it's like exercising. So we perform at interval of 45 minutes, and we get to rest 10 minutes, then we'll repeat this process on and on again. The outfit of the mascot, sometimes it gets quite smelly as we forgot to air the mascot. Ever since I started, I think I won 50 to 100 over mascot on average per week. I usually get to wear five different types of costume. I like wearing the mascot, but sometimes I don't like to wear because some people tend to abuse the mascot. There's a few times that I got pushed by people as they think that I'm actually a robot. One of the abuse that I've gotten is when the group of people who started to rip off our clothes and trying to unmask who we are by unbuckling our mascot. Maybe they did it out of curiosity or just for fun. I feel very violated as they start to touch and see are we a girl or a guy. Kids who are very very young, they will tend to be afraid of us because they have no idea what we are. So they you can barely see in those suits. Um, you know, I even seen people like. I even seen another person directing a mascot because they can't, you know, some of those suits can't fit appropriately. So I was just like, maybe I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, maybe that person didn't see, you know, these two little black girls. Um, but as I continue to read the article, and I got my article from the New York Post, um, the mother, who her name was Jody, said. Rosita, the character, um, said no, no, no directly to her children and shoot them away. And, um, and I'm just thinking to myself, I'm just like, well, that's unfair. Um, that that can be that can be looked at as unfair um, when you put it that way. Um, but still, like I feel like, you know, everybody had a it's two sides to um two sides to a story. The story's still developing. Um, Sesame Street, Sesame Street, Sesame Place came out with a statement. So here's what Sesame Place Philadelphia said. Um, they said, and you guys can read it with me. Um, they said, our brand, our park, and our employees stand for in inclusivity and equality in all forms. That is what Sesame Place is all about, and we do not tolerate any behaviors in our parks that are con con contrary to, the com to that commitment. We also are and have always been committed to making sure every family, every child has the best possible experience at our parks, and we are incredibly disappointed when that does not happen. Regarding the incident yesterday, the costumes our performers wear sometimes make it difficult to see at lower levels, and sometimes our performers miss hug requests from guests. Didn't I just say that, y'all? But let me keep reading. The performer portraying the Rosita character has confirmed that the no hand gesture seen several times in the video was not directed to any specific person. Rather, it was a response to multiple, multiple requests from someone in the crowd who asked Rosita to hold their child for a photo, which is not permitted. The, result, the Rosita performer did not intentionally ignore the girls and is devastated about the misunderstanding. I just said that too. 
We spoke to the family and extended our apologies and invited them back for a special meet and greet opportunity with our characters. We apologize to these guests for not delivering the experience they expected. And we commit to do our best to earn their and all guest visits and support. See, that's why I didn't want to jump to conclusions right away because I still wanted to wait till the story developed a little bit more and then just not pick sides because if you know people that has worked as mas mascots, it's not an easy job. And these people don't get paid a, a lot of money either. So, and I'm, you know, not saying I'm a big fan of Sesame Place because I'm done with that place. Like, I... Last time I've been was last year, 2021, and I'm just, like, I was just disgusted. Because when you get those afternoon tickets, anytime, like, I would go to Sesame Place, like, in the morning. Because when you get them afternoon tickets, or if you go in the afternoon, you're getting the bottom of the barrel of everything. So Sesame Place, um, Philadelphia, is saying that it wasn't racially motivated of what happened. Um, it's just at the moment they're trying to say at the moment I guess somebody was trying to get um, a pe you know somebody was trying to get a picture you know somebody was trying to do a meet and greet at the time or they was some along the lines of a meet and greet um, or they was trying to you know I don't know exactly like I don't know exactly how to word this but they was basically trying to get like, you know, get like, I guess a photograph with Rosita, like a picture with Rosita, and they can't do that while the parade's going on. And so I guess at the time, the girls were standing there and they just got waved no. I really think, I really think it's not as bad as people making it sound like. Um, so Kelly Rowland spoke out. Um, she said, like, are you serious? You're not going to speak to my child? And did you see the, that baby's face at the end? The little one with the pink on? She deserves an ex explanation. Like, I feel like you shouldn't speak out on anything um if you don't know the if the whole story is not out okay and that's just goes for everything we just can't make explanations say that sesame place um should should have issued an apology um and which they did um shortly 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 that evening on a sunday um the park said that they um reached out to the family as well as um offer a meet and greet with the um, characters of the park. Um, but Julie, the mother, said that um, Sesame Place has never made an effort to contact her, let alone apologize to her daughters. Um, Jody said, I wholeheartedly feel as though the statement was released to save face, she wrote. Acknowledging the manager reached out to her, but no further communication has been attempted since the video went viral. The, same, the statement was disrespectful and distasteful, the mom said, pledging to repost it daily until the situation has been um, situated. Jolie says she's hurt by the incident, but is trying to handle it as calmly as possible. She said the character could have just waved to everyone or just kept walking, but to blatantly look at my kids and say no, I'm not accepting that, she continued. Don't try to tell me he can't see lower levels. He looked one, he looked at one and he looked, he looked one and looked at them and said no. So, um, that's what she said. So here's my take on it. Um, like I said, I don't want to jump to conclusions. I'm not the one to be biased. You know, one thing I am going to say is last year when I went to Sesame Place with my family, um, I decided last year that that would be the last time I ever visit, visit the park. And like I said, maybe, maybe, maybe it's because I picked 
afternoon tickets or I went later in the day, but the water was dirty. It smelled like sausage water. Like it was just, the, it was just, the environment was just, ugh, the, like the food lines were outrageous, outrageously long. And there was one food vendor that was open the rest, and the rest were closed early. Um, and for people to be paying um, that much money, um, people, people like people pay fifty dollars a ticket um, and twenty three dollars for parking, and I think I think that's expensive for what for the little little bit that you're getting for it. Um, the quality was bad. Like the environment wasn't it. Like it felt like cheesy and tacky and it just felt like very low budget as I should say but I gotta get back to work my break is over um I love you guys talk to you soon peace thanks for watching make sure you like share and subscribe